on hole and number five, option number one. Start at NMT, and then we're moving three rings right with a POC eight. It's gonna be different from POC six and a POC seven, but we're always gonna move right. Now, we're taking a look at the wind angle here, and we're gonna look at the zones. We're gonna base the zones as looking at the bush there in the distance, and we're going to do different right spin or left spin, depending on where we end up. Now, I'm using right spin here, uh, but in this instance, we should have been better off doing like no spin because we are somewhat in between the two zones. And you can see here now that we bounce down nicely onto the fairway and we are adjusting one to one uh, for wind above 16, one for two when it comes to a puck six. And then it's max curl to the right and try to hit perfect. It, and have in mind as well that due to the slightly lesser curl, for a POC 6 and a POC 7, it's going to be a slightly different spins to use just to recontract that. Unfortunately, this is a play for only a P5 top spin boost 4 ball, as uh, going further back is going to be a little bit of a gamble if you're going to make it down to green. Get our guide on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy.